हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम इथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रू डॉट इन सो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सेटअप और हाउ टू कनेक्ट टू पैकेट रेसर रिमोटली यूजिंग द क्लाउड और हाउ टू सेटअप द क्लाउड कनेक्शन इन पैकेट रेसर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई सिसको पैकेट रेसर जस्ट आई हैव ओपन वन देन डबल क्लिक ऑन अगेन सिसको पैकेट रेसर सो आई हैव ओपन टू पैकेट रेसर नाउ सो नाउ यू कैन सी आई हैव टू पैकेट रेसर okay now i am going to connect both of these packet tracer together with the help of remote connection and multi user method okay so in first packet tracer for example i have taken a switch i have taken two computers okay and i have taken a server i have taken a server so as you can see so let consider this will be a dhcp machine so this will be a dhcp server first of all you can go to option go to preference and say this one always show port levels okay you will select this one and do this setting okay so now you can see i have one switch one server and two pcs let's make the connection with the help of cables i have made the connection with the help of cables so <coughs> i have a dhcp server with two computers ready okay dhcp server with two computers ready now it's time to assign ip address to the dhcp machine i am going to assign ip address to the dhcp server that will be 1.0.0.1 okay that's all now close this one now this dhcp will provide ip address to this machine but what we want that we have another computer we have another packet tracer inside which we have another three computers and these computers are connected with the switch and we want to provide ip address to this pc with the help of the dhcp server which is situated in the right uh, left hand side so i want left hand side dhcp server to provide ip address to the machine which are in the left hand side packet tracer cisco packet tracer how you can do that okay so first of all the first thing you have to keep in mind is uh, let me go to preference so port levels okay okay so you can see these are the systems these are the ports servers are ready now you can see the left hand side these systems are able to get the ip address from the dhcp machine okay i have not configured the dhcp server let's go to the dhcp server go to the services configure dhcp by going to the dhcp server then on the dhcp server click on save that's all dhcp server ready you can go to here ip configuration go to static dhcp again and you will get ip address 1.0.0.2 successfully again go to pc1 go to desktop ip configuration select dhcp and you will get the ip address 1.0.0.3 similarly we want the ip for this computers also but right now it's not possible so we have to set up we will need this one multi user connection you can see multi user features used for remote connection okay remote connection so we will take this one pr0 option here now you have to go to extension go to multi user then go to listen and set a password so here i will set a password suppose red hat and choose this option always accept always accept then click on okay similarly go to right hand side multi user listen set the password red hat and always accept and always accept okay you have to set the password again also remember the port number the port number is 38001 38001 so let me write the port number here uh, of this left hand side machine that is okay that is 38001 so port number is 38001 of this machine okay now what you need to do you have to uh go to left hand side and then go to extension again go to multi user go to port visibility now you have to select the port here so what you can see in this switch 
the switch have three ports already occupied okay two with the pcs and one with the dscp server that is fs01 02 and fs03 port has been already occupied so which one is free fs04 is free so select fs04 and click on ok ok now done similarly right hand side you can see this switch has three ports already occupied fa01 fa02 and fa03 occupied so which one is free fa04 so go to multi user portability and select fa04 fast ethernet 04 okay now your system is ready to connect your remote your connection so go to pr0 so you can see multi user connection here connection type incoming in place of incoming select the option outgoing now PR address when you are on the same PC you have to select you have to your PR address will be local host or 127.0.0.1 you can also choose this IP 127.0.0.1 if you are on the same PC but if these two packets are on different PC in place of 127.0.0.1 you have to type the IP address of that PC on which your second packet tracer is okay now the port number which port number 38001 so you can see 38001 one here peer network name suppose this is peer one peer one password is red hat we have set the password red hat then click on connect when you click on connect it will come here you can see right hand side automatically this peer win one will come now you have to come to the right hand side and you have to take the cross cable you can see in the cables you have to see cross cable so you have to select this option click on the first option and then click 04 okay and now once you connect this one pr1 with your switch automatically pr0 will be connected with this side switch okay now both of these pcs are remotely connected both of these packet tracer are remotely connected with each other with the help of this cloud function multi user function and now you have to wait for 30 seconds so that this port could be green and once the port will be green you will be able to see that this PC will get the IP address from the DSCP server also. It means now right hand side packet tracer, left hand side packet tracer both can communicate with each other with the help of this multi user mode. Now you can go to PC0. Okay, go to desktop, IP configuration, select DSCP, and you can see here it is. It will get the IP address 1.0.4. Similarly, PC1 will get the IP address 1.0.5. PC2 will get 1.0.6 all the machines are getting the IP address from this machine which machine the left hand side packet tracer remember it's not possible that only you can connect two packet tracer together you can connect multiple packet tracer together suppose I am going to open another packet tracer okay so let me choose another Cisco packet tracer software so just open one more okay so I have one more packet tracer now I am taking one PC here one switch connecting this PC with the switch now what I need to do that I have to go I have to go inside this extension go to multi user listen and you can see the port number 38002 allow accept allow accept it's okay okay so the port number is 38002 so write the port number 38002 now the which port is free so with you can see the switch only port is busy that is fs01 so go to extension multi user port visibility fs01 is busy so you can select fs02 okay good now go to the first packet tracer here select take one more okay and you can rename it like you can make it pr2 okay pr2 now if you want to connect peer 2 with your switch you have to select another port free port here and that will be fa05 okay now click on peer 2 then click on incoming and then outgoing and then port number 38002 because you have to connect with the third packet tracer 38002 the port number you can give any name so you can give the name peer 3 password is red hat and once you click on the connect you can see automatically this PR3 will come here. Now you can choose the cross cable here and click on PR3 first option then click on switch and then and now you can see all these machines are connected with each other. 
packet tracer 1 is connected with packet tracer 2 packet tracer 1 is also connected with packet 3 packet tracer 3 it means packet tracer 2 is also connected with packet tracer 3 you know the formula a is connected to b b connected to c hence a connected to c this is the same formula working here okay now the all these three packet tracer are connected with each other you can communicate with all those machines you can take different machine let's try to go to the third packet tracer and go to the pc0 click on desktop ip configuration select the dscp option and here it is you will get 1.0.0.7 okay this is the way you can you know, install download and install uh, so you set up remote login connection with the help of cisco packet tracer and multi user functionality and this option you will get in extension box so you have to go to extension then multi user and then you have to make only changes at two places in listen and then port visibility that's all if you have liked uh, my videos you just share it with your friends thank you thank you for watching okay